The thing that confused me the most that I learned about uh, girls and guys, the difference, um, when I was in my relationship years back, and you always have that talk if you were both like sexually active before meeting each other, which, you know, especially at this age is going to be the case. You're going to stumble upon conversations where you talk about people from your past. Now, in my situation, my ex and I worked together and she had dated other people that also worked with us. So I was very closely acquainted with people from her past. Yeah. Far more than I think you should be. Mm -hmm. Now, granted... Definitely more than the regular person. You don't want to... Like, it's one thing to... uh, to n- obviously know that other guys have fucked your girlfriend. It's another thing to be like dropping off waters at his table every fucking shift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's another thing that just like, it's like, you know, it's just. Yeah. Having to clock in with him for eight hours a day. I feel like people aren't really honest about, like, I remember being in a relationship and being like, what? you know, think of like, obviously feeling weird about it obviously every now and then you're going to think about like she hooked up with this other guy it's going to bother you i think it's going to bother most people and you're kind of taught to be like dude why are you even thinking about that she's with you now like blah 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 blah. and you have to like pretend that you doesn't bother you but i think for a lot of people yeah, it, you're like i shouldn't be thinking this way and then you trick yourself to thinking that you're not exactly like, no I, I was there or you feel yeah and you feel like it's like not common like mm-hmm. that other people it's like yeah sure you don't You're care like, about I'm being weak. <laughs> I'm being, I gotta pretend I'm not feeling anything. Yeah, and of course my friends will all be like, "Dude, why do you give a shit about blah blah blah?" blah. Like, I'm like, "Yeah, of course like, you yeah, don't care who she's fucked." In my situation, fucked. <laughs> I don't care who your girlfriend fucked. Yeah. Obviously, that's not the point, dude. I'm dating this girl, and it's like you know, I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna think about it from time to time. Um, but so be more honest. First of all, just real quick, just be more honest. Like, it's okay to be insecure about that stuff. Um. And you will be. You will be. Um, and that's why... Just don't tell the women about look, it. Look, the best thing you can do is just... <laughs> just have a higher number than your significant other. <laughs> just have a higher number than your significant other. And that way, you don't have to feel like they beat you on the scoreboard. Um, anyway. The things about... Also, don't take dating advice from either of us. <laughs> <laughs> for anyone listening find like a relationship podcast yeah, or something yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there. I feel like you have a successful run yeah I have a, I'm I'm good now mm-hmm. but yeah no one's good at dating when you first do it yeah but um the thing that I noticed about the difference is what for most guys and I and I think most guys would agree with this I was guys, never... Guys, get in here. Guys. <laughs> guys. Come on in, folks. Bring in our studio guy audience. <laughs> we'll bring in the girls. Our guidance. I feel like fucking outcast right now. All right, now, fellas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse than knowing your girl fucked another dude? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> all right, now. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> My baby don't mess around because I do not have one because I am an incel. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, bitch! <laughs> Why don't you go on a date with me? <laughs> the oh, incel oh. anthem. So, <laughs> so I remember this sticking out to me because I think for most guys, I was never bothered by guys that my girlfriend had actually dated, like guys that she had a relationship with. That he was like, you know, they like were together. You know what I mean? What bothered me were the guys that she just hooked up with. That's mm-hmm. what bothered me. I didn't I wasn't threatened by a guy who like also was like really invested in my ex and like really like probably cried when they broke up. You know, because in that way you had the power. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Cuz that guy's you see that you run into that guy at the bar and you're like I'm with her now. Yeah. You know? Not that I not that that's the way I looked at it, but like if they ever tried to get a certain type of way about it, like, I'll probably fuck your bitch. I'm like, yeah, but then you cried when you stopped fucking her. So <laughs> why don't you fucking get me a shot and move along? Mm. Um, but what bothered her was the girls, not the girls that I had just hooked up with, but the girls that I had 
had a close relationship with. Mm. It was like the polar opposite. So like a man is more threatened by the dudes from his girlfriend's past that just fucked her, that just hooked up with her. Yeah. I mean, I guess that makes sense in a way. Like not only in like when you're in the relationship looking back on it, but as that dude looking at that girl then you're like oh god like all these fuck boys popping up yeah we're just running through or like you see her in a relationship and you're like fuck i guess that guy's better than me but at least she's happy exactly exactly and i couldn't wrap my mind around the fact that like like we'd be talking about stuff from our past and i'd be like yeah like we hooked up but like we really liked each other like and i thought i was saying that as like a thing to be like you know like hey it's but that made it worse. <laughs> like for her, it was worse. Yeah. That because she was more threatened by the fact or felt that more insecure her. about yeah. the fact that I was I really liked this other girl. Mm. So I think that's an interesting dynamic between girls and guys is the that not just what we were talking about before, like what turns us on in terms of like if we're gonna subscribe to an OnlyFans or not, but also what we care about when it comes to each other's past. Mm. I think it just says a lot about the different and I think a lot of that's societal. But probably not. Yeah. I mean, I feel like also like the healthier thing to do is just not be in that situation <laughs> where you're like working with like three other dudes in a shift to like two banged her and <laughs> yeah. one was her like ex of three years yeah. or whatever bullshit's happening. Yeah. If only I knew that at the time. Yeah. Um, but also that's pretty common for most restaurants. So oh, <laughs> everyone out there, be careful. Yeah. If you get in, if you date somebody that you work with at a restaurant, especially, it's just it's a given. You just look, it is a very incestuous industry, and that's because of what it comes with. I mean, you're you're working in a place where if you're working at a bar or something like that, like it's a constant drinking, socializing, partying environment. And the people that tend to work in those places tend to be all more fun, outgoing people in general. You mm -hmm. don't get a lot of crazy introvert, introverts working at a fucking busy ass bar. It just wouldn't yeah. work. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, they don't really become waiters and waitresses. Yeah. That's just like, it's like the exact opposite of what they'd want to do for a living. Is like, yeah. now you have to pay me. I get paid to interact with people I don't know yeah, yeah. constantly. It's like, no. So, like, all those people, very social, they, they, they go into work at five work until last call at two and then like they're still wired and up because they probably woke up at fucking 3 p.m from the last shift and then they all go out after and go out to a bar after hours place or go back to somebody's apartment and drink a bunch until like four or five in the morning it's like it's an those people become your friends because you kind of you're kind of like vampires in a way like mm -hmm. that the industry culture exists on an entire different time uh time zone than regular people so like it's well, like the same way you can get caught up in like a social media bubble, but yes. it's just like that's your real life version mm -hmm. of it. Yeah, so it's always weird why people when people call like working in a restaurant like being with family and then they all just fuck each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe we should think of a different. Yeah, think of a different thing. Yeah, Maybe like a team. Yeah. We're all on a team. When you're here, you're family. It's like, no, when you're <laughs> here, you're this fucking each other. Guard. It's a fucking <laughs> sex dungeon, dude. So it was inevitable. And like I said, I mean, I, I, I was working shifts with people that she had hooked up with, and, and she was working shifts with people that I had hooked up with. It's just it's just the way of the world in that industry. Um, we got to jump back out. I forget where we were. Dude, I completely forgot where I was going. We oh, gotta, oh, Inception, I, we got to go. <laughs> we have to go back. Through the fucking dream space. <laughs> I'm back. I remember what I was saying. What I was saying was, when you said it's probably not healthy to work in an environment where you're constantly surrounded by those people. Yeah. You were going to say, yes, you're right. <laughs> and I agree. <laughs> Having been, uh, having gone through that, I agree. <laughs> have you been having gone through that? I, I have. <laughs> I have, and I agree. But I've thought about it for future relationships, and this is this is an answer I have not come to. A lot of people say, dude, just don't talk about that stuff. You meet a girl, don't even bring up the conversation about the past. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. don't talk about exes. Don't talk about shit like don't ask your girlfriend what her number is don't let her ask you what your number is and shit like that but it's like really i get the sense behind it but like if i'm with somebody that i feel like i 
if I'm going to spend the rest of my life with one person, hopefully, I don't think that there should be any topics that we shouldn't be allowed to cover with each other. I don't want to have, I don't even really like that with certain friends. Like if I can't talk to you about anything, then like, what's the point? Like, and not that we have to agree on everything, but like we should, we should, if we're going to be close friends, we should be allowed to talk about anything, I think. Yeah, or else sure. it's like, why are there boundaries to our relationship? I don't know. Like, are you not fucking, you don't fucking like me, dude? You don't <laughs> I fucking, we were friends. <laughs> I thought we were friends, dude. You can't tell me about your fucking girlfriend, bro. You can't tell me about fucking politics. Like, you should be able to talk about shit like that. Even if we wind up getting a big argument, it's fine. Like, that's, that's what it means to me. But like, not that I would judge a person. Uh, based off their past, although it's difficult not to. On uh, just being honest, I'm not going to try to pretend that it's not difficult to ignore that shit. But as you get older and mature, it does become easier because you know you get to a certain point where you're like, okay, dude, I'm in my late twenties. Obviously, we both have a laundry list of previous relationships that like. But also, as you reach that level of maturity, I am still an advocate for having that discussion. I still yeah. am. I still am. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I think I think you can have that discussion, but it shouldn't be like one of the first things you have. Certainly not. Because the then first it's thing. like it fucks with like your memory bank, basically. Mm-hmm. Like your first like five memories of a girl will be like, all right, she's a you know five seven. I think her name's Emily. We're back. Yeah, we're back. Oh yeah. She's fucked 30 dudes, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, all right, so now that I know these three things, do I want to date this girl for the rest of my life? Probably not. Yeah, yeah. It's you like kind of the- like set yourself up for failure. You like sabotage yourself every time. And the problem is, is a lot of that conversation happens when you first meet, too, because when you first meet, you're not nearly as emotionally invested, and so you have open talks about like yeah this guy I used to hook up with and blah 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 and then as you get more and more like close you kind of stop talking about that stuff but it's like you can't forget about that stuff we talked about like when we went on our first date and hooked up and then we were laying in bed next to each other and you told me about this guy you say i always do this on the first date <laughs> <laughs> when you said this that. one guy <laughs> whoa we <laughs> <laughs> whoa we <laughs> But <laughs> it's just like you can't you can't unhear that. You know what I mean? And uh <laughs> my my uh my advice to people is all I think this is a good general rule of thumb. If you're walking through life avoiding topics and avoiding the truth, it's not healthy. It's not healthy to to just avoid that your significant other had a past before you existed. Yeah. And it can help you learn a lot about the other person about Tell me about your other relationships. Why did they, why didn't they work out? What were the problems? Maybe there maybe there's some things we could Was both... it you? Was it you? <laughs> what should I look out for? Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I literally like I I mean I I'm Have very you slashed tires before. <laughs> the, look, this is important information. Like <laughs> like, you know, if I truly want to know anybody, whether it's a significant other or just a friend of mine, it's like, you know, uh, that is a big part of your life. Mm-hmm. relationships are a big part of your life and you can tell a lot about a person about how they are in a relationship you know i've i mean i will say like i've hung out with dudes where they might just casually talk about cheating on their girlfriend and that changes my opinion of them yeah drastically For and sure. like you know because the way i look at it, it's like okay i'm not your girlfriend so obviously this doesn't affect me but at the same time what that says to me is that you're capable of having the love and trust of someone and and having a verbal commitment to someone yeah are you cheating on me <laughs> <laughs> like As friendly though? like you have it within your makeup to betray someone like that or to yeah. lie to someone like that it says a lot for sure so it should never be overlooked and so those are things that like yeah i want to know uh, oh you broke up with your boyfriend of four years because you cheated on him that's valuable information mm-hmm. valuable information 